day. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. <laughs> Children, tomorrow is World Book Day, when we celebrate the wonder of books. I love books. Me, Me too. too. Me too. Good. Please come to playgroup dressed as someone from your favourite book. Can I come as Super Potato? Is Super Potato in a book? No, he's on TV. No, it must be a character from a book. Can I come as someone from a fairy tale? Yes, it can be any book you like. Remember your costumes for World Book Day tomorrow! <laughs> mummy! Mummy! It's World Book Day tomorrow and we have to dress up as someone from a book. That sounds exciting. Who are you going to be, Peppa? You've got lots of books to choose from. Yes! <laughs> I can go as a sleepy princess from this book. Yes. I love reading you this story. <clears throat> Once upon a time, there lived a... Or maybe I can go as the red monkey. <laughs> I love that book too. Hmm, I can't decide. All the books are good. Why not go as Funny Onion from the book that Mummy Pig wrote? No, Daddy. It has to be a real book, not Mummy's book. <laughs> Thank you very much, Pepper. Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. 47685931 most of Mummy Pig's book is one big long number. Yes, there were a few printing problems. How about this book? The Tiny Magic Fairy. Yes! <laughs> I'm a tiny magic fairy. <laughs> and George, what's your favourite book? I'm sure. Of course, your pop-up dinosaur book. <laughs> well, that's settled. George will go to World Book Day as a dinosaur and Peppa will go as a tiny fairy. Or maybe a duck. Quack, quack. It is nearly bedtime. Aha! I'm the happy pirate from the pirate book. <coughs> Pirates are my favourite because they are funny and they sing happy songs and... Brush their teeth? Yes, brush their teeth. <laughs> Are we all ready for World Book Day tomorrow? No. My favourite book keeps changing. <laughs> Don't worry, Peppa. You can decide in the morning. Today is World Book Day. Oh, my. What wonderful costumes. <laughs> Tell us, Pedro, who are you? I'm the hunter from Little Red Riding Hood. He's strong and brave and kind to old ladies. <laughs> Very good. And I am Dogbeard the Sailor from the adventures of Dogbeard the Sailor. And why is he your favourite? Because he's strong and brave. And I think he might be kind to old ladies too. Excellent. I'm an old lady. So you are, Candy. But are you not also a witch? Yes, so be careful or I might turn you into a frog. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Edmund? You have come as... The big number from Mummy Pig's book. 476,859,312. Oh, what an amazing choice. Ah, George, you are dressed as... I'm sure. <laughs> but where is Pepper? Here I am. Ooh. What book are you, Pepper? I am all my favourite books. I have fairy wings, a pirate hat, Aha! a red monkey tail, and quack quack duck feet. <laughs> You're a fairy pirate monkey duck. <laughs> Peppa loves World Book Day. Everyone loves World Book Day. <laughs> Mummy Pig is working on the computer. Mummy, can we play Happy Mrs Chicken on the computer? Not at the moment, Pepper. I need to finish the important book I'm writing. Daddy Pig is in the kitchen making lunch. Daddy, when can we play Happy Mrs Chicken? When Mummy has finished writing her book. 
Oh, that's it. After lots and lots of hard work, I've finally finished writing my book. Well done, Mummy Pig. Now we can play Happy Mrs Chicken. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> You did save your work, didn't you? Ah, no, I didn't press save. Forty, ninety, ten, million, hundred and twelve. <laughs> well done, George. That's the highest score ever. <laughs> Duh, my work. Where's my work? Ah, there it is. Quick, save, close, send. You. Is your work all right, Mummy? Yes, Pepper. I've just sent it off to be made into a real storybook. Ooh, a storybook. Not just one book. Lots and lots of books. Going to bookshops everywhere. Wow. wow. Mummy, can you read us your story? Yes, I'm going to read it to you and your friends at Playgroup tomorrow. <laughs> Mummy Pig has arrived at the playgroup with lots of copies of her new book. Thank you, Mummy Pig, for coming to read your new book to us today. It's very exciting. These books are so new, I haven't even opened one yet. Children, Mummy Pig has worked hard to write this book. So we must listen politely, even if it is not very good. Thank you. It's about an onion. Ooh! <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. Four, seven, six, eight, five, nine, three, oh. The rest of the book is one big long number. I don't understand. This is not what I wrote. What is four, seven, six, eight, five, it's nine? George's Happy Mrs. Chicken High Score. Wow, that is a high score. But where's my Funny Onion story? It's gone. <coughs> I'm sorry, children, but I can't read Funny Onion to you today. Oh. Can you remember the story, Mummy Pig? Yes. Then just tell us the rest. All right. Once upon a time, there was an onion called Funny Onion. <laughs> All he wanted was to make people laugh, but he made people cry instead because he was an onion. <laughs> what a beautiful, sad ending. Uh, no, wait, Madam Gazelle, it's not finished. Oh, I see. Carry on. Funny Onion said, I will search the world to learn how to be funny. He met a tomato. The tomato said, wear a funny hat. But people still cried. <laughs> he met a banana who said, wear some funny shoes. But people still cried. <laughs> funny Onion was ready to give up when a pineapple whispered in his ear. What do you think the pineapple said? Wear a funny red nose. Wear a purple wig. Very good. But what the pineapple really said was, do something funny. Funny Onion did something funny and everyone laughed. They laughed and laughed and laughed. The end. Marvellous. I think it speaks to all of us. The parents have come to collect the children. I've just been to the bookshop, Mummy Pig. It's full of your books. What did you mean by 453967? Well, er, uh, actually... It's probably post-narrative. Very modern. Uh... Well done, Mummy Pig. Thank you. <laughs> the parents love Mummy Pig's book. The children love Mummy Pig's book. Everyone loves Mummy Pig's book. Once upon a time... Pepper and George are looking at storybooks. Look, George. This is an exciting adventure. <laughs> there are fairies and three bears who can't stop eating porridge. <laughs> and a naughty wolf who's looking for an old lady to eat. Oh. Don't worry, George. It's always a happy ending. <laughs> I wish we lived in a fairy story. <laughs> Peppa, George, it's time to go. Are we going on an adventure? Yes, we're going to Granny and Grandpa Pig's house for lunch. That's not an adventure. There'll be potatoes. Can we bring our picture books to read in the car? We're not going in the car, Pepper. 
We're walking there instead. Walking? All the way to Granny and Grandpa's house? Yes, there's a shortcut through the park. Will there be dragons and fairies in the park? Not that I know of. But it will be a nice walk. <sighs> but there won't be any magic. Maybe, if we look hard enough, we might see some. Pepper and George have arrived at the park. Hmm, it doesn't feel like a magic place. Oh, I don't know. It feels a bit magic to me. Yes, this is like the path in Little Red Riding Hood. I wouldn't be surprised if we bumped into the big bad wolf. <laughs> Hello there. It is Mr Wolf. Hello, Mr Wolf. How are you? Very well, thank you. Just a little bit hungry. I'm trying to decide where to go for lunch. I'm going to my granny's house for lunch. Are you really? Yes. Is it far? Not far. This is the shortcut. We'll be there soon. Very good. Oh, well. Catch you later. Goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> that was just like Little Red Riding Hood. <laughs> Meeting Mr Wolf in the middle of the woods when I'm going to Granny's house. <laughs> <laughs> Which way now, Daddy Pig? Uh, I'm not sure. There's a little house over there. Let's ask them the way. Hello? Is there anybody home? <coughs> I wonder who lives here in the middle of the woods. There are three chairs. And three bowls of porridge. Hello, Peppa. Here are Belinda Bear and Mummy and Daddy Bear. Hello, Hello there. there. Hello, Mr and Mrs Bear. Sorry to trouble you. The door was open, so we came inside. It's quite all right. It's lovely to see you. Are you going to stay for lunch, Peppa? It's porridge. <laughs> it's not too hot or too cold, but just right. <laughs> We're actually on our way to have lunch at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Could you point us in the right direction, please? <laughs> that path there will take you to Granny Pig's house. Thank, Thank you. you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Wow. That was just like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Yes, with a little house and three chairs. And three bowls of porridge. <laughs> <laughs> we are in a fairy tale. Peppa has arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Granny Pig, we're here. Hello. Oh. Here is Mr Wolf. Mr Wolf, why are you here? I'm just round for something to eat. Your granny has made a lovely lunch. Mm -mm. Yes, I've made a lovely lunch and it's ready now. Come inside. Hello, Peppa. Hello. Wendy Wolf has come for lunch too. Lunch is served. Hooray! Potatoes! Ho, oh, oh. ho! You can never have too many potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy, I've had an adventure in the fairy tale woods. Ooh, what's the fairy tale woods? It's where you live inside a fairy story. <laughs> Peppa loves fairy stories. Everyone loves fairy stories. <laughs> Christmas Eve. <laughs> Hands up, who wants to go and see Father Christmas? Me, me, me! Are we going to the North Pole? Not quite that far, Peppa. But Father Christmas lives at the North Pole. Lucky for us, he's got a grotto at the Christmas Fair. Peppa and George have come to visit Santa's grotto. Hello, everyone. Hello. All aboard the elf train. This way to Santa. <laughs> Susie, what are you asking Father Christmas for? I don't know. What are you asking for? I would like a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. I'll ask for that too. How does Father Christmas remember what toys everybody wants? He makes a list. His sleigh must be very fast to go around the whole world in one night. It's a super sleigh! Father Christmas is really old. He's hundreds of years old. Even older than my daddy. <laughs> Santa's Grotto! Ooh. Ho, 
ho, ho. Hello, everyone. Hello, Father Christmas. Have you all been good? Yes. Have you all kept your bedrooms tidy? Yes. Have you? Oh, oh, oh of course. Now, come and tell me what you'd like for Christmas. Can I have a football, please? A xylophone. Tiddlywinks. A magic set, please. Racing car. <coughs> Bouncy ball. Boing, boing. A twain, please. A toy train. Not a toy train. A real train. One I can drive with real passengers. Oh, I'll see what I can do. Is that everyone? We haven't seen you yet. I am sorry. What is your name? I'm Peppa Pig. We've met before. Ah, yes. Nice to see you again, Peppa. What would you like for Christmas? I would like a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. Please. Um, the same for me, please. Very good. You do know where I live, don't you? Oh, yes. How old are you? Oh, I'm hundreds of years old. I told you. <laughs> Goodbye, Father <laughs> Christmas. Don't forget to leave me a mince pie and... And a drink. We know. And a carrot for the reindeer. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Peppa and her family are driving back from the Christmas fair. Daddy, why have we got our bags in the car? We're spending Christmas at Granny and Grandpa's house. But Father Christmas won't know where we are. Don't worry, Peppa. Father Christmas knows everything. Granny Pig, it's nearly Christmas. Yes, and I've got a very important job for you. Stir the Christmas pudding and make a wish. Pepper and George are making a wish. Racing car. Oh, don't tell me what it is. <laughs> Here's the mince pie and a drink for Father Christmas. And a carrot for the reindeer. <laughs> Who can that be at this time of night? We're not buying anything. Merry, joyful greetings, festive, happy cheer. Carol singers, always full of Christmas time. Oh, Merry Christmas. It is bedtime for Pepper and George. This used to be my bedroom when I was a little piggy. Father Christmas knows where Granny and Grandpa live, doesn't he? Oh, yes. He's been here many times before. Good night, Pepper. Good night, George. Pepper and George have fallen asleep. When they wake up, it will be Christmas Day. The library. It is bedtime. Good night, Pepper. Good night, George. Can I have a story, please? OK. I'll read you the Red Monkey book. But we always have that one. The Red Monkey has a bath, cleans his teeth and goes to sleep. Uh, yes. That is what happens. Can we choose another story? The blue tiger, the green spider, the orange penguin. Oh, what's this one? The wonderful world of concrete. I've been looking for that. Is it your book, Daddy? It's a book I borrowed from the library. What's a library? It's a place you borrow books from. And when you've finished reading them, you take them back. But Daddy Pig has forgotten to take this book back. I have had it for rather a long time. Never mind. You can take it back tomorrow. <coughs> but now it's bedtime. After Daddy reads this story. It's not much of a story, Peppa. Please read it, Daddy. OK. <laughs> the Wonderful World of Concrete. Concrete is a construction material composed of sand, water and chemical admixtures. Chapter 1. Sand. Pepper, George and Mummy Pig have fallen asleep. It is morning. Pepper and her family have come to the library. <laughs> <laughs> wow! What a lot of books! Shh! Pepper, 
you must be quiet in the library. Why? Because people come here to read and to be quiet. Next, please. Miss Rabbit is the librarian. Hello, Mummy Pig. Are you returning these books? Yes, Miss Rabbit. Right you are. Why is the computer beeping? It's checking to see that you haven't been naughty and borrowed the book for too long. Um, I may have borrowed this book for a bit too long. Oh, don't worry, Daddy Pig. It can't be that bad. Gosh! Daddy Pig, you've had this book out for ten years. Naughty Daddy. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. That's all right. Now you can borrow another book. Miss Rabbit? Can George and I borrow a book, please? Yes. The children's section is over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. Berries, flowers, pretty dresses. <laughs> hello, Pippa. Oh, hello, Danny. I'm borrowing a book about football. <laughs> hello, Pepper. <laughs> hello, Susie. I've got a book about nurses. <laughs> George has chosen a book about dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <laughs> Look what I found. Further adventures in the world of concrete. Here's a red monkey book. Not the red monkey book. It's boring. But this is a different story. It might be more fun. I bet it's not. Once upon a time, there was a red monkey. <gasps> He had a bath, cleaned his teeth and went to bed. No, he jumped in a space rocket and went to the moon. Mm. He had a picnic with a dinosaur, Ooh. swam under the sea and climbed the highest mountain. That was a busy day. The end. Wow! Read it again. We can borrow it and read it at home, Pepper. But I was going to choose this book or... This one. You can take three books home if you want, Peppa. Yippee! But you must remember to bring them back on time. Yes, Miss Rabbit. And you must remember to bring your book back too, Daddy Pig. <laughs> I'll make sure Daddy remembers. Yes, Peppa. I'm sure you will. Ho, <laughs> <laughs> ho! <laughs> Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we are going to talk about what you would like to be when you grow up. Ooh. You can use the dressing up box to help you decide. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle, I don't know what I want to be when I grow up. Don't worry, Pepper, you have plenty of time to think about it. Okay. When I grow up, I want to be the queen, so I can tell people what to do. I see. I think I might like to be a teacher. What is it about being a teacher that you like the most, Emily? Telling people what to do. OK. I want to be a policeman when I grow up. The police drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, 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 Thank Nina, you, Freddy. Nina, woo. What else do you like about being a policeman? They tell people what to do. Right. I would like to be a doctor or a nurse. Why do you think you would like that job, Susie? Because they help sick people get better. <laughs> Wonderful. And they tell people what to do. Yes, not all jobs are about telling people what to do. Oh. There are lots of other important jobs like... Being a builder or a poet. When I grow up, I will be a pirate. Aha! Pirates sing happy songs and they go yo ho ho. Yes, I'm not sure that being a pirate is a job as such. Either a pirate or a farmer. Oh, yes, being a farmer is much better. You would grow things and make food for us all to eat. And I'll tell all the animals what to do. Right. I will be a superhero. Being a superhero is a very important job. 
You have to run faster than a train, jump tall buildings, and... I don't want to do all of those superhero things, but I do want to tell people what to do. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> it is home time, and the parents have come to collect the children. Hello, my little piggies. <coughs> so tell me, what did you learn at playgroup today? Madam Gazelle asked us what we want to be when we grow up. That sounds nice. Not really, Mummy. Everybody knows what they want to be, but I don't. Do you know what you want to be when you grow up, George? Dinosaur. George wants to be a dinosaur when he grows up. <coughs> you see? Don't worry, Peppa. You have plenty of time to decide what you want to be. OK. What do you do, Mummy? I work on my computer. Do you get to tell people what to do? No. Well, that's no good then. It is bedtime for Peppa and George. What do you do, Daddy? I could tell you, Peppa, but I think you'd find it a bit boring. I wouldn't, Daddy. <coughs> Please tell me. OK. My job is to design and facilitate strategies of function by material means in concrete. Do you like your job, Daddy? I like it, but not everyone would. Everyone is different, Pepper. Hmm. What can I do, then? Think of something you like doing. I like jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Uh, there aren't that many jobs. I, I... want to be famous for jumping in muddy puddles. <laughs> I want to be famous for having a big tummy, Peppa. But that's never going to happen. But I'm very good at puddle jumping. Yes, I suppose you are. When I grow up, I will show everyone in the world how to jump in muddy puddles. That sounds like a very good idea. Night, night, Peppa. Night, night, George. Night, night. Peppa and George are falling asleep to dream about dinosaurs and puddle jumping. Sailing boat. Grandpa Pig is taking Peppa and George sailing. Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig. Here are Mr. Stallion and Mrs. Corgi. They are members of the sailing club. Hello, we're just going out for a sail. It's a bit early for sailing. Yes, you can't go sailing now. Thank you for your advice. See you later. Grandpa, your friend said that we can't go sailing yet. They don't know what they're talking about. Oh, bother. Grandpa's boat is stuck in the mud. There's no water, Grandpa. Uh, yes. The tide seems to be out. So we can't go sailing? Don't worry. The water will come back again soon and the boat will rise up. The water is coming back. It certainly is. The water is lifting Grandpa's boat out of the mud. <laughs> We're bobbing up and down. Let's go sailing. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> I love sailing. Oh, hi there, Grandpa Pig. Are you OK, though? Do you need any help or advice, old chap? We're doing just fine, thank you. Bye. Grandpa, they're going quicker than us. There's no need to hurry when you're sailing. <laughs> We're bobbing up and down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. <laughs> Ahoy there, Grandpa Pig. Time to head back if you don't want to miss the tide. If you leave it too late, you'll get stuck in the mud. Aha! Right you are. <sniffs> Goodbye. I don't listen to them. I know more about the tides than they ever will. <laughs> the boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up, the boat bobs down. The boat bobs up. Oh, we've stopped bobbing. Ah, the tide seems to have gone out. Are we stuck in the mud, Grandpa? Yes, but only until the tide changes. 
Then the water will lift us up again. When will the water come back? Uh, tomorrow morning. Oh. We'll just have to spend the night on the boat. A sleepover! Hooray! <laughs> I'd better give Granny Pig a call. Hello? Hello, Granny Pig. We've decided to spend the night out on the boat. <laughs> you mean you've got the tides wrong? No, no, of course not. I, I just... We're uh... stuck in the mud, Granny. <laughs> I knew it. It's an adventure, Granny. We'll see you in the morning. Where will we sleep, Grandpa? Here. <laughs> the boat has two little bunk beds. Ooh. <laughs> and I will sleep on deck under the stars. Night, night, Grandpa. <laughs> Night, night, Pepper and George. Pepper and George are asleep in the bunks. Grandpa Pig is asleep on the deck. The stars are twinkling in the sky above. It is morning. We're bobbing up and down. <laughs> Look, children, the water is back. Hooray! Grandpa Pig's boat is floating again. Time to sail home. Aye, aye, Captain Grandpa. <coughs> the boat bumps up and down. <laughs> Granny Pig has come to meet Pepper and George. Granny Pig! Thank you. Hello, my little ones. Did you have a nice time? Yes! yes. We got stuck in the mud and had a sleepover. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper loves sailing. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> loves sailing. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. <laughs> there, finished. Pepper, what a wonderful picture you have painted. It is me and George and my mummy and daddy at our house. But where are you all? I can only see a house. We are all inside the house. Of course. It really is a wonderful picture. Here is a playgroup star. <laughs> Wow! Thank you, Madam Gazelle. It is home time and the parents have come to collect the children. Mummy! Daddy, look! I've got a playgroup star! That's fantastic, Pepper. I remember Madam Gazelle gave me a playgroup star when I was a little piggy. A long time ago, when Mummy and Daddy Pig were little, Madam Gazelle was their teacher. <laughs> Here is a playgroup star. <laughs> I was so happy. Did you get lots of playgroup stars, Mummy? Oh, yes. <coughs> Daddy, did you get lots of playgroup stars too? Uh, it was such a long time ago. I really can't remember. No, I'm pretty sure you didn't get one, did you? <gasps> you never got a playgroup star, Daddy! No. I never did get a playgroup star. Not even a little one? No. Anyway, like Daddy Pig said, it was a long time ago, Pepper, And they're really not that important. What do you mean, Mummy? They are very important, aren't they, Daddy? Uh, yes, Pepper. Are you sad that you never got a playgroup star, Daddy? Well... I have done other things in my life to be proud of, you know. Maybe if you do a good drawing and show Madame Gazelle, she will give you one now. Playgroup stars are for children, Pepper, not for grown-ups. There! The roof is all fixed. Thank you, Mr Bull. That really is wonderful work. Have a playgroup star. Oh, thank you very much. Look, Daddy, Mr. Bull's got a star and he's a grown-up. Hmm. It is evening time. Pepper and George are going to bed. Are you still sad because you never got a playgroup star, Daddy? You know what, Pepper? The more I think about it, the more I think I should have got a playgroup star. Why? Because I love to make things. And I was always drawing in class. What was your best drawing, Daddy? 
Would you like to see it? I think I've still got it somewhere. I'm sure I put it in the loft. Ah, here's my old school bag. And here is my picture. Wow, it's a dragon. Grrr. It's very good, Daddy. <laughs> yes, I was quite pleased with it. But it didn't get a star. Nope. Hmm, that's sad. It is the next day. Pepper and George are going to playgroup. <laughs> Look at this, Susie. <coughs> it's not fair, Pepper. You're too good at drawing. It's not my drawing. It's my daddy's. Oh, not so good for a grown-up. <coughs> he drew it a long time ago when he was little. Ah. Pepper, have you done another wonderful drawing? No, Madam Gazelle. This is my daddy's drawing. Ah, oh, yes. I remember your daddy did like to draw. But you never gave him a playgroup star. I must have given him one for this. No, you didn't. Daddy Pig, you deserve a playgroup star. Ho, oh, oh, ho. I've never been so proud. <laughs> daddy Pig is a playgroup star. Hooray for Daddy Pig! <laughs> Grandpa's toy plane. Pepper and George are at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Look, I've got something to show you both. Ooh. This is the dolly I had when I was little. She looks very pretty. Can I hold her? Yes, but remember Dolly is very old and delicate, so do be gentle with her. I will, Granny. Anyway, enough of that. How would you both like to see something good? Yes, please. <laughs> we need to go to my shed. <laughs> Grandpa is always making little things in his shed. I suppose it keeps him happy. Look at this. Ooh. I call it Mark One. It's my first homemade toy aeroplane. Airplane! <laughs> George loves aeroplanes. Can it fly, Grandpa? Of course. Watch this. Uh, landing is the tricky bit. It is the best little plane ever, Grandpa. But it could be better if it were bigger. So I made this one, Mark II. Wow! wow. Gently does it. Uh, yes. Like I said, landing is the tricky bit. Lovely, Grandpa. It's good to get these things out of your system. And now that you've made a big toy plane, there's no need to make another, is there? No, Granny Pig. Um, you know what? I fancy a glass of orange juice. Good idea, Grandpa Pig. Is anyone else thirsty? Yes, please. <coughs> then I'll go to the house and get some juice for all of us. See you later. Peppa, remember to take care of Dolly. I will, Granny. Bye, Granny. Right, now I can show you what I've been working on. This is Mark Three. Wow! Yes, it's bigger and better. It even has a place for a pilot to sit. We can put George in it. <laughs> uh, no, I think that might be a bit dangerous. Maybe Dolly would like to be the pilot. But Granny said I should look after Dolly. Dolly will be fine. OK. <laughs> Let's see what it can do. The toy aeroplane is doing a loop the loop. Dolly! Oh no, Dolly has fallen out of the plane. No need to panic. Hooray! Let's try something even more exciting. Watch out for the house, Grandpa! 
Oh, it's fine. The door is open. Now, where is that juice? What was that? Aha! You see, I know what I'm doing. Clever, Grandpa. Now, I just need to land it. Gently does it. for everyone. Ah, Granny Pig. Perfect timing. What is that? Um, it's a toy aeroplane. A big toy aeroplane. Yes, I can see that. Grandpa did some fancy flying. And Dolly, did you enjoy your playtime with Pepper and George? Grandpa put Dolly in the aeroplane. Yes, yes. We've all had a lovely time. Yes, Grandpa. <laughs> Pepper and George love toy aeroplanes. Everybody loves toy aeroplanes. <laughs> Digger World. Pepper and George are visiting Digger World. Digger, Digger. <laughs> George likes diggers. I like diggers too. <laughs> and today, you'll both be driving real diggers. Wow. Here is Mr. Potato. Welcome to Digger World, where all your digger dreams come true. <laughs> this is the Sand Digger ride. Ooh. Pepper and George, jump on board. Mummy and Daddy Pig, you have to pedal. Oh. oh. <laughs> now, fill up this big bucket with sand. <laughs> this is Yes, fun! <laughs> Excellent work, children. Now we flip the bucket over, give it a tap, et voila! Hooray! Pepper and George have made a big sandcastle. Let's go to the next ride. This is the wall building ride. <laughs> Stack the soft blocks to make a wall. Hurry up, Mummy! OK, Pepper. <laughs> Pedal faster, Mummy! Oh, I'm going as fast as I can, Pepper. <laughs> Nearly finished. There! A lovely wall. <sighs> Here comes George with a demolition digger. Meow! <laughs> oh, dear. George has knocked down Pepper's wall. George! You naughty piggy! <laughs> oh, ho ho! Building things up, then knocking them down! It's all part of the fun at Digger World! <laughs> this is the grabber machine. How do we play this one? Let's hope it's not pedal powered. Mummy and Daddy Pig do the pedaling. Oh. oh. Pepper and George use the grabber to win a lovely prize. Ooh. There are Mr. Potato dolls or toy dinosaurs to be won. I'm sure. OK, George, let's get a dinosaur. <laughs> this way, George. <laughs> no, no, that way. Back, forward, down. <laughs> We've got the dinosaur. Oh. The dinosaur toy is too heavy for the grabber. Oh, try again! Oh no! We got a Mr. Potato doll! <laughs> the Mr. Potato doll is just the right weight for the grabber. Aren't you lucky? And he's yours to keep! Oh. But the best news is you have earned your digger badges! You are fully qualified digger drivers! Hooray! <laughs> Thank you for visiting Digger World, where all your digger dreams come true. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs> I really like Digger World because we get to drive. Stop! It is Mr. Bull. What's the matter, Mr. Bull? We're building a wall across the road. Digger, digger, <laughs> Mr. Bull, can we drive your digger? 
Oh, I'm afraid children can't drive diggers. But we've been to Digger World. We've got badges. Oh, that's okay then. Hop aboard. <laughs> I'll drive the digger, and you can have the important job of pushing the buttons. <laughs> okay now, push the button. What? This red one? No, the green one. Ah! The digger has knocked over the new wall. Sorry, Mr. Bull. <laughs> Building things up, then knocking them down. It's all part of the fun with diggers. Peppa and George love diggers. Everyone loves diggers. Soft play. It is morning. Peppa and her family are having breakfast. Oh, there's a letter here for George. <laughs> It's an invitation to Richard Rabbit's party. Sounds fun. I'll take George to the party, as long as it's not at that awful soft play centre. It says soft play. Ah. Daddy doesn't like the soft play centre. Last time he got stuck and was rescued by a helicopter and a fire engine and a crane. It wasn't exactly like that, Pepper. It was only a helicopter. I think soft play sounds lovely. I will go with you, George. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for Richard Rabbit's party. <laughs> Bye. I'll be back to pick you up later. You're very welcome to stay if you want. It's soft play, isn't it? No, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. You're very welcome to stay if you want. See you later. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Hello, Mummy Pig. <laughs> I quite understand if you don't want to stay. No, I'll stay. Us grown-ups can have a nice, quiet chat while the children play. Oh, OK. <laughs> this is the Soft Play Centre, where everything is soft, so children can bounce, swing, squash, slide and play. This is great! The children are having so much fun! Yes, I just hope we can get them out at the end! <laughs> the little children have been playing all day. Home time, children! <laughs> that was a lovely party, wasn't it? Yes! Have you all had fun? Yes! Are you ready to go home now? No! <laughs> oh, my goodness! We're never going to get them out! There's only one thing for it! I'll have to go in. Good luck. Ooh. Ah, I'm stuck. Help. Don't worry, I'm coming in. I'm nearly there. Oh, no, I'm stuck too. Help. Hello. Mr Elephant has come to collect Edmund Elephant. Mr Elephant. Help, we're stuck. <laughs> no problem, ladies. I'll get you out. No, don't. You'll get stuck. It's a trap. Ah, I'm stuck. <laughs> Daddy Pig, Pepper, and Susie have come to collect George. <laughs> ah, what good little children you are. Uh, where are your parents? Help! Help! We're, we're stuck. stuck. Ho, ho. That usually happens to me. That is going to happen to me, isn't it? I'm going to go in there and get stuck. Me and Susie can go in. We're smaller. That's kind of you both, but it is my job. As a grown-up, I must do this. But, Daddy... Don't worry, Peppa. If I get stuck, I will ring for the rescue services. Ah, yes, I'm stuck. Lucky I've got my phone. Hello? Rescue service? Oh, you're in here too? Yes, I'm a bit tied up at the moment. So there's no one to rescue us? We're here, Daddy. <coughs> we will rescue the grown-ups. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 
That tickles. <laughs> uh, well, hey! Thank you, Pepper and Susie, for rescuing us. Hip, hip! Hooray! Hooray! Now we can all go home. <laughs> the little ones have gone back inside. Pepper, can you bring the little ones out now? Yes, Daddy. But we might have to play a bit first. <laughs> Pepper and Susie love the soft play centre. Everyone loves the soft play centre. Grandpa Pig's greenhouse. Pepper and George are visiting Granny and Grandpa Pig. Hello, Grandpa. Hello, Pepper and George. <laughs> George has found a ball. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Careful, George. This is my greenhouse. It is made out of glass, which breaks easily. Oh. Let's throw this ball out of harm's way. Oi! Who's throwing footballs at my greenhouse? Ah! People who live in glass houses should not throw footballs. You threw it first. It nearly smashed my greenhouse. Call that a greenhouse? It's a pile of rotten old windows. It's good enough for growing tomatoes. I'm amazed you can grow anything in that rubbish tip. I'll grow more than you do in your fancy glass box. <laughs> Grandad Dog and Grandpa Pig are the very best of friends. Grandpa, why is your greenhouse made of glass if glass breaks easily? Because I grow plants in it. Let me show you. These plants like sunlight and glass lets the light in. Ooh, this plant smells lovely. Oh, that's just basil. Granny Pig throws the seeds in a pot and it just grows. Oh. Let me show you something that takes real skill to grow. My tomatoes. They are very small, Grandpa. Eat one and tell me what it tastes like. It tastes of... nothing. Well, they're not quite ready yet. Hello, my little ones. Granny Pig! <laughs> Could I have some tomatoes, please, Grandpa Pig? Uh, no. I I'm afraid the tomatoes aren't ready. Maybe in a few weeks. But I want to make tomato salad for lunch. Grandad Dog is growing tomatoes. Yes. Maybe Grandad Dog will lend us some. I don't think we want Grandad Dog's rusty old tomatoes. Uh. Cooey! Grandad Dog! Ah, oh, Granny Pig! Lovely to see you this fine morning. Do you have any tomatoes we might borrow? Borrow? You can take as many tomatoes as you like. The tomatoes have done very well this year. They look a lot bigger than your tomatoes, Grandpa. They may be bigger, but that doesn't mean they're better. Pepper, would you like to taste one? Yes, please. Mmm, yummy. That is the best tomato I have ever tasted, ever. Ah. How did you grow them, Grandad Dog? I didn't really mean to grow them. I just threw some old tomato seeds down in the corner there and they grew. Fill your basket. There's too many for me to eat. Thank you. We're going to make a lovely tomato salad. Ah, I know a great recipe for a tomato salad. Lovely. Can you make it for us? The problem is, my recipe needs basil, and I haven't managed to grow any basil. My grandpa has lots of lovely basil. Really? Oh, yes. Grown heaps of the stuff. Let me show you. Very impressive. Tell me, what's the secret of growing basil? Well, it's quite tricky. The first thing you have to do... I throw some seeds in a pot and the basil grows. You mean it just grows by itself? Uh... Yes. Is it lunchtime yet, Granny? Oh, my poor darlings, you must be starving. Let's make that tomato salad. First we slice the tomatoes. Add a little splash of olive oil, a shake of pepper, a teeny tiny pinch of salt, and finish the whole thing off with these lovely basil leaves. Tuck in, everyone. Mmm. <laughs> Marvellous tomatoes. Thanks to my greenhouse. Mmm, beautiful basil. Thanks to my greenhouse. This is the best 
tomato salad in the world ever! <laughs> Peppa goes to Paris. Peppa is going to Paris today to see her friend Delphine Donkey. Is everyone ready? Yes, Daddy Pig! Then Paris, here we come! Paris is in France. We go on a ferry to get there. What is a ferry? Ha-ha! <laughs> You'll see. This is the ferry. Wow. <laughs> there are lots and lots of cars in here. Let's go up on deck and breathe in some fresh sea air. Look, Mummy! The boat is rocking about. Yes, Peppa. Mummy Pig doesn't like it when the boat rocks about. All this sea air is making me hungry. Who wants to eat? No, thank you. The waves are getting bigger. Here, I brought you a fried egg sandwich. Oh! Land ahoy! The ferry has arrived in France. Remember, Daddy Pig, they might drive differently here. Oh, oh, driving is driving, Mummy Pig. You see? It's just like driving at home. Ah! Cochon de la roue! Hello there! Hello! Hello. <laughs> Peppa and her family have arrived in Paris. Delphine Donkey and her family are here to meet them. Bonjour! Bonjour, Delphine! Bonjour <laughs> means hello in French. <laughs> what would you like to see in Paris? I want to see everything. Oh, it is impossible to see everything. In that case, I would like to see the real hidden Paris. The Paris that the tourists don't see. Bravo, Mr. Pig. Tell me, which part of the real hidden Paris would you like to see first? The Eiffel Tower. Ah, OK. This is the Eiffel Tower. Wow, this is busy. Imagine what the tourist places must be like. Look, Mummy, it's Miss Rabbit. I didn't know you had a job here, Miss Rabbit. Excusez-moi, I am not this Miss Rabbit. I am Mademoiselle Lepin. Oh, I'm sorry. Souvenirs, get your little Eiffel Towers here. The real Eiffel Tower is really big. Can we climb up it? Um, it looks a bit high. Daddy Pig does not like heights. Do not worry, Mr. Pig. We take the elevator. Going up. I'm glad that's over. Oh, no. That is just the first stage. Now we must climb the steps. Ooh If you feel dizzy, Daddy Pig, just close your eyes. OK. This is as high as we can go as visitors. Let's look at the view. Ooh. These steps are going on forever. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig is not looking where he is going. He is climbing up and up and up. What a wonderful view of Paris. It's lovely. Yes. What do you think, Mr. Pig? Mr. Pig? Where is everybody? Ooh. Daddy Pig is at the very top of the Eiffel Tower. Hang on, Daddy Pig. Ah. I must call for the rescue services. You're here, Miss Rabbit. I am not this Miss Rabbit. I am Mademoiselle Lepin. Don't worry, Daddy Pig. I am going to get you down. Ah, I'm going even higher. What can you see, Daddy? I can see everything. <laughs> My Daddy came to Paris and he saw everything. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Mr. Potato has come to Peppa's playgroup. Children, 
Mr. Potato is here to talk to you today about eating fruit and vegetables. Oh! I am going to show you a movie called Super Potato. Yay! Super Potato! Wow! Oh, my hat is blown off. Help me, Super Potato! By the power of vegetables, I am here. Aha! Remember, kids, always eat your five a day. Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. And now we have a very special guest. Can you guess who it is? It's not my daddy, is it? No. It's not my daddy, is it? No, it is nobody's daddy. Is it my mummy then? No, it is no relation of anyone here. The special guest coming to see you today is... Super Potato is coming. Hooray! But before he does, we must call him... <clears throat> Super Potato! Super Potato! Very good. I'll just go and see if he is outside. Keep shouting. Super Potato! Super Potato! By the power of vegetables, I am here! Hooray! Wonderful! Now, who has a question they would like to ask Super Potato? Ask me anything you like about fruit and vegetables. Anything! What is the tallest building you've ever jumped? What's that? Why do I like carrots so much? I'll tell you why. Because they are so tasty! Can you run faster than a train? Which vegetable makes you run fast? That's a good question. I would have to say a Brussels sprout. Have you ever eaten a potato? Uh, fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Doctors now recommend you eat seven a day. Uh... Always remember to eat your seven. Right. Let's all give Super Potato a nice big clap for coming to see us today. Thank you. Thank you. And remember, kids, eat fruit and vegetables. Super Potato has left the building. Oh, dear. Did I miss him? Yes. He was brilliant. Well, it was lovely to see you all, but I'd better be going too. Bye. Come on, children. Let's wave Mr. Potato goodbye. Oh, dear. Mr. Potato's car won't start. Ah! I cannot get out! Mr. Potato is stuck. Help! Let me out! What shall we do? Help! Call help. for Super Potato! Let me out! Super, Super Potato! Potato. Super I think he might be Super too Potato. busy to come. No, really? Really, Super I do Potato. not think that will work this time. No, Madam Gazelle, you just need to shout out with us. Okay. Help us, Super, Super Potato. Potato! There, it didn't work. Now I think we What's need to... What's that in the sky? Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No, it's a potato. By the power of vegetables, I am here. Hooray! Super Potato has come to the rescue. Using my super vegetable vision, I can see that my friend here is in trouble. Yes, you have to get him out. I will use my fruity strength to lift this roof off. <laughs> super Potato has rescued Mr. Potato. Hooray! And remember, kids, when trouble calls... Eat your fruit and vegetables! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Seven. Always remember to eat your seven. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.